Hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing f do, 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 uh, Banjo Kazooie. There we go. That's the name of the game. Why is that so hard to remember sometimes? I don't know. It's just like I hit record, and then brain is just like, uh, what? You wanted to say things? Uh, word? <sighs> anyway, so, well, hey, uh, we're finishing up Banjo Kazooie, uh, and yeah, yeah. Got all of our things. Let's let's just double check those numbers. All of the things. All of the things. All of the things. Everything. All of every little thing. What? Well, hey. Which means it is time for some fun. Welcome all, Crunchy's the name. Banjo is here to play my game. My lair is done, and here he stands through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. The prizes on this stand bring joy. From Tootie down to Cuddly Toy, my little quiz will make you sweat. And Tootie shall never. No, Tootie, you shall never get. I don't know, because uh, somewhere, something along the way, uh, your lack of skill will make my day. Because in the fiery pit you'll go, and I will win the prize on the show. So step on over to the square, press A to try it if you dare. What's up, dude? A little answer is all I seek about this game, you furry geek. In Mumbo's village in the middle, which tall object solves this riddle? Oh, jeez. Uh, I have no idea, but I think his name is Juju. Hooray! <laughs> A lucky guess, you got it right. The next square is yours without a fight. A visual challenge, stupid bear, to tell me who it is or where. Okay, so we're going to pause for half a second, because how hecking delightful and unexpected is this? Like, I mean, this is a well-known factor of this game at this point, but like, you're a kid playing Banjo-Kazooie, and you get to the end, and it's just like, okay, cool, I have, like, all the things, or, and you'll know, probably don't even have all the things, because being a kid, you just kind of play through games and get just enough to get through. I don't know, I don't know how often it is people just play for 100% completion. I don't know. But anyway, you get enough notes, you get through the door, you come up here, and it's just like, as you're heading towards that platform, it just, like, turns into this game show music, and it's like, wait, what? You go upstairs, and then all of a sudden, Grunty is running a heckin' game show. And, like, what the heck even is this? Like, this is, this is wild. This is just, like, completely out of left field. I want to know whose idea this was and why. Like, where did they come up with the idea of just, like, hey, what if we have, like, this weird game show quiz at the end? Oh, yeah, there's a crowd. Neat. I've never looked up there before. Anyway, like... How hecking great and wild and unexpected this was. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, there's a lot of places that could have that chain, my dude. Well, it's one of these two. Yeah, the crowd, they boo and hiss. To see you fail, they would not miss. The energy that you have found won't stop me making 2D round. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. So, there are, of course, the Joker spaces and the whole speedrunning tricks and everything. Uh, let's just 
actually play the game and get through, uh, it looks like the best way to go is probably up that way, back over to the right, maybe. On Mumbo's Mountain, they look flash. How many huts were there to smash? Uh, five. Heck. The giant plant in Clickhawk Wood. How does it get water to make a bud? Uh, from a camel and also several other things. A question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day. Listen carefully to this tune. Which world's it from, you furry goon? Bubblegum Mountain, Bubblegum Swamp, Mumbo's Mountain. <laughs> I do love the crowd booing noises. And just one chance to get this right. Win a Joker and help it might. She will soon be fat and lame. What is your little sister's name? It's a good thing you've been saying it constantly. <laughs> Each Joker card that you have, that you have got, will skip one question. That's your lot. Press B to use it, you little cheat. When on a square, you get cold feet. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you've been? Hey, I know that place. It's the star in the ice world with the skybox that I forgot rotated. Uh, do do do, freezy z. In the rusty bucket is a tanker. What's stuck underneath its anchor? A dolphin. Who is apparently dumb. Hmm. Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test. And you won't come back. Alright. Memory game time. The tiles are wait for you to match. Time is tight, but that's the catch. Okay, so I think this is the same configuration as it was before. Uh, nope, that was a banjo. Grunty was not kidding about time being kind of tight on this. Nailed it. Perfect. We didn't wash, there was no pool. Where did I go to which school? Uh, Fat Hag High. That's a secret. How did you know? My, did my sister tell you so? I do also love that they like limit your your jumps and you can't like do any of your moves. Get us wrong for Grunty's sake. Then all lava bath you'll take. <laughs> your joker misses out a square. Except the test you did not dare. Alright, let's get a slightly better look at the board. Okay, so if we go up this way, we have another death trap square. If we go that way, we run into two in a row. So 
So yeah, heck it, we're going this way. I like them fried, they're quite a treat. What for breakfast do I eat? Uh, I think it's spider pancakes. So I was about to say, I cannot imagine this working in any other game. And of course, it doesn't. Banjo-Tooie tried to pull some of the, like, game show fun questionnaire things out in, like, its final boss, and it just doesn't land right, if you ask me. And I'm trying not to dunk on Banjo-Tooie, but, I mean, Banjo-Tooie is just, like, a hodgepodge mess of ideas that... I don't think they had the time to execute on in the way that they wanted to, or like they were trying to get things to work and just didn't work technolo technologically. I don't know. This is all hearsay and, you know, shenanigans. Anyway, let's play this game. Uh, see the picture on my screen? Do you know where you've been? Come on, Grunty. <laughs> um, I think it's Rusty Bucket Bay. Listen carefully to the tomb which rules it from you, fairy goon. Hmm, I wonder. Couldn't possibly be from a world that haunts me to this day. Oh no. Little sting, they make a bear shout, whack them all before time's out. In Clanker's cabin, it's a pain. Oh, what's attached to Clanker's chain? An anvil. It is apparently massive. <laughs> See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you've been? Well, that's Clanker's cavern. I can't pinpoint exactly where, but I know it's Clanker's cavern. So this is the benefit of, like, there's only nine worlds in the game, so, like, I imagine that the way these questions are written... Let's just... Yeah. Like, I'm not sure if the answers are randomized between all of the possible options or, like, some uh, hodgepodge made-up worlds and levels, but, like, it all works. Fine. Anyway, uh, Grunty's got a beautiful pose. Where did I get my delightful clothes? Heck. Get more wrong. Yes, that's the way. Two of the crowds are happier that. Damn it, the crowds are happier today. Do you know and can you tell what on earth my favorite smell? Uh, it was sweaty gorilla feet, I do believe. My looks at school were never thin. What award did I always win? When this piece of music is heard, watch moves done by the stupid bird. One of those, I know which move it is visually, but wait, what was it named? Watch as the turtles sing their song, repeat it quick, you won't get it long. Red, blue, cyan. Purple, cyan, purple. Cool. That, they made that easy for me. This one, this one, and back and forth between here and purple. Anyway, like, this whole setup 
works because of like the whole cartoony nature of this game and like <sighs> that there are only nine worlds and like a bunch of random facts that you learn about Grunty along the way makes it to where it's like this all you know it, it <sighs> words 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 um I don't know it, it just like makes it to where the quiz is difficult enough but, like, you've spent enough time in these places. Get this wrong, you little toad. Rusty Bay's whistle. What's the code? Uh, jeez. Anyway, you spend enough time in, like, these places to, like, pick up on these in incidental details and, like, the themes, like, the visual themes and how things feel and look like in each of the worlds, and all the worlds are, like, really distinct so that you can actually, like, pull these things apart. All of the music is fantastically memorable with all of the different variations, and you spend, like, at least an hour in most cases, unless, you know, you're a speedrunner or, like, doing really well at the game, etc. You probably spend, like, an hour in every one of these levels, so then like everything fits like I don't know it, it's like it is enough information to fit into your brain without you know going overboard see the picture on my screen do you know where you have been that one's almost tricky Because he's got a beautiful pose, where did I get my delightful clothes? You already asked me this, but I guess I get I, I did get it wrong. Heck. <laughs> Remember now, before you lose, what type of toothpaste do I use? Mm. I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? Oh no. I don't actually know this. Heck, heck. Ooh. No one can win. I was assured by the makers of this board. It's not fair. I want to win. How I long to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show. While up the winding stairs I go, I won't catch me. I've made sure all the credit you'll now endure. Mm, which prize shall we pick, Kazooie? Me, 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 me! Er, uh, how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should take duty. Again, this is why I wasn't sure if I wanted to voice anything. That's what I meant! Kazooie! Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure, let's get out of this dump. Uh -huh. Gruntola, Chief of Ideas, Greg Grunty Mailitz. Anyway. <laughs> so, again, we just have, like, the sheer delight of this game just turning into straight-up comedy of, like, here's a full credits sequence showing you all of the different, like, characters and everything, and, like, this... I miss character showcase credits. And, like... We get the, the whole character showcase, we get, like, these goofy credits, um... with, like, all of the nicknames and everything. things and again like this whole sequence is just wildly delightful <laughs> it's like hey let's play a dumb trivia board game that's like just difficult enough to like make you worry from time to time 
Well, let's have this whole credit sequence. We have the villain escaping. Scene Craner. As like, we've saved 2D. We beat Gruntilda at her own game. <laughs> And instead of, like, in a way, like, the whole quiz thing is, this is, this is a stretch, but bear with me. It's a little bit similar to, like, the Mega Man boss rush, or, like, any game that has, like, a big boss rush at the end. of Just, like, hey, have you learned the things? Like, have you, have you been paying attention? Do you know, like, what the weaknesses are? Do you know these, these random facts about the game that you've been playing? because you've been playing it, so have you picked up on these things? And, like, in stuff like Mega Man, like, in Mega Man games where they have a boss rush, a boss rush at the end, it's very much, like... <sighs> I don't know, like... A Mega Man boss rush is basically, hey, do you remember all the weaknesses of, like, you know, the rock, paper, scissors rules for this, you know, across these eight entries, and also, can you, you know, execute in order to dodge attacks? And, like, do you remember the boss patterns? Do you remember, like, how to dodge things? Do you remember how to fight things? And, like, a lot of games that have boss rushes, that's, that's kind of what it's doing. It's just like, hey, do you remember, do you remember the mechanics along the way? And... We're like we get kind of the flip on that. You, it, it's it's a mutation of it. Instead of hey, do you remember all all the various mechanics throughout the entirety of the game? Do you remember um, just random details about the world? Because like you've been exploring the world, and like the point is to explore and discover things and do all of that stuff, and just like play you know it's it's instead of asking you hey do you remember all the mechanics to these bosses and whatnot it's asking hey were you paying attention to all these worlds that you've been in like do you remember these little details like you know juju the totem pole like that's kind of a stretch but it's like looking at the three names because it's multiple choice and like they can you know filter those choices out to be like whether or not they make a whole lot of sense like it's it's they can make the questions easier or harder based off of those entries of just like well juju makes sense these others don't really hurry up and get us home manjo hooray Woof and pant i'm going as fast as i can <sighs> We still get all of the silly victory everything. We get credits, we get the character showcase, we get like an end of game party and everything. Baron Burden and good help Mumbo beat, which. Uh, and like. I don't know, there, there's just something fantastic and just. Again, the word I'm sticking with is just utterly delightful. Like, th this, the end of this game is just a pile of wild delight. And then, of course, 2D comes out and is just like, wait, you didn't defeat her, you just kind of saved me. Which, I mean, I guess that was your goal at the start. <laughs> and then we're back in. Like, they don't make me... They don't make you climb and do all that stuff again, and... I mean, honestly, if we really want, we can, you know, come over here and get all of our life back, get all of these extra lives, and all of this stuff that we just left on the board. We can just go get it. <laughs> oh, anyway, Grunty's Furnace Fun is just one of those fantastical things 
It is just sheer delight. It is it is absolutely wild delight. And it is so like specifically unique to this game in a way that is like other things like I don't know, there's imitations of stuff and then there's trying to re-implement it and just like it just doesn't land in the same way. Also, you need 810 out of 900 notes. So, adding that note door here, and quite frankly, that's a pretty high percentage of, uh, of gathering in this game. Like, that is leaving nine notes per world, um, which... You know, not all worlds are equally difficult, so some make more sense to leave notes in than others. But ultimately, like, that's a really high completion rate for a collectathon. And also, hey, here's the machines that we've been seeing throughout the game, and all of that fun junk. And this just turns into like a, hey, this is a fun little bit to explore, just like, oh yeah, this was always part of the castle. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. Monsters chase you, they're hounding. And then you'll get a grunty pound. Yes, yes, yes. You've, you've said this before, grunty. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop. Because I am safe here at the top. Also, all but six jiggies. Um, there are in total. Is it 100 jiggies? Because, yeah, there's. Yep, nine worlds and then ten in the lair itself. So. That is a 94% completion rate required in order to get to the very end of the game. And, I mean, technically you've already seen credits, but you haven't seen the real ending of the game. And you have these extra note doors. And the final secret of, hey, almost every single Jiggy and almost, like, at this point we're at a 98% completion rate. Um, and 882 out of 900, uh, that sounds close enough to like 98%. Like, this is getting into an A rating on a test sort of thing. Of just like, you need to get not quite everything, but very nearly everything in order to unlock all these little bits. And now our health is red, which means basically we have double health. We have automatic full refills for all of our consumables. So it's like, you have these really great rewards up here. Did I show you? She puked me. It was awful. 
Uh, if you order this fancy smell, oh, visitors for Dingpot, I like visitors. Uh, it's a wonder you get any sore breath. Uh, what does the strange birdie thing mean? Blah, 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 we're looking for Gratilda. Again, like, uh, me reading these voices just doesn't feel right. Anyway, uh, so, well, hey. Don't be so sure, you sell your pot soon, you'll have it nice and hot. These filthy clothes I've got, and when I've worn, you'll wash a lot. Don't worry, we've got it. Pew pew. But yeah, like, ultimately, we have, like, these really quite fanciful rewards up at the top of everything. Um, so, like, if you have done your big completion stuff, you actually get rewarded for that in, like, tangible gameplay ways, which are really helpful in this final boss that is uh, kind of tricky, honestly. I can't believe that furry pair you got up right here. It's so unfair, but now the stupid bird must fight to this battle test your skill and might. Hmm, I see you took that something something. What was that you got me now? I've really angered this old cow. See, the real trick of this fight is that Grunty is actually quite a good shot. Magnet spell at last, or under hide, or you'll get past. Ah, uh, that last whack did clap my ear, but you can't get me over here. That does, in fact, go through the wall there. Hey, Banjo. I'm going to the air. Fly pad. Nope. 
って。He did not miss, but now let's see you get through this. Let's not get ourselves killed by flying into the death pit. Our new friends are in trouble. We gingers will help you. I hate those gingers really well, but the must have used a lousy spell. Hmm, something, something. Hey, that ginger will really hurt. Now I'll rub you in the dirt. So what's always fun about this fight is that it makes use of a lot of your abilities. But, like, specifically the really fun ones. Like, the beak buster and, like, shooting eggs into small targets and just, like, Things that, like, take an amount of skill, and, like, I don't know, it, it, this is one of those boss fights that feels really rewarding overall. Ah, that last shot, I failed to stop, so down on the ground will drop. Note that I would, in fact, be dead if I didn't have the double health. <laughs> I am the mighty Gingernator. Activate me. That Rocky Moron can't hurt me, because Grunty will be the winner will be. great that they were able to like bring the gingers back into all of this and like all of this is just like really great animation <laughs> it is a little odd with my health just kind of stuck there on the top of the screen i could take these shots all day but there's no way i'm going to sway done for now hear me choke but look what's hidden in my cloak That's too heavy. 
Grunty's fate, this should not be. So hurry, Glungo, rescue me. We got gingos, we got hanging out on the beach, we got coconuts, we got watermelon. Everybody's having a nice sunshine time. And of course there's Melon Girl over there being just kind of a little little on the nose. <sighs> We got Captain Blubber on a ski -Doo. And just in case you didn't get the joke, there's Melon Girl for the entirety of that shot. Oh, this is great. Have we finished now? Judy, can I relax? Yeah. I do like, like, honestly, I do really enjoy all of the sass and just like the joke here of just like, hey, let's, we're, we've won, we beat the game, we, we defeated the witch at her own game, right? And it's like, no, no, actually, she's still out there. And then we get more credits. Basically, it's the rest of the character parade. This game is so good, I cannot believe dumb teenage me was like willing to trade it in for any reason whatsoever. What a dummy. <laughs> so, like... The Grunty fight is honestly like it's a really good challenge at the end of a fairly long game. And like if you have gathered all the things and you're like, you know, getting your your big refills and all of that, and like you're going in, you're feeling fairly like accomplished and invincible, and like you go in, and actually that fight is really rough. <laughs> it is quite a difficult fight, as you can see. I barely got out of that alive. Like, there was a fireball heading for me to kill me and was like two frames away from doing so. Which is probably the closest I've ever cut that fight, but like it pulls in a lot of abilities that you've used throughout the game that kind of uses like, it, it goes through a lot of your more fun ones and like has different phases of a fight um, without anything getting too particularly old. They have like the difficult shots that you need to land in order to like move the fight forward with all the ginger statues and then you have the big gingernator. You have, like, it's great they bring back the gingers. Mm, snacker. <laughs> and like, I don't know, just everything about the end of this game is just just wildly delightful and just you have you have this really well created like this really well crafted boss fight to cap everything off that makes it clear that actually Gruntilda is a beast. <laughs> like she's actually really dangerous <laughs> and like I don't know. I, I I really I really like that aspect of everything. Just like you have you have this wild, silly game show thing that's just like, you know, she mentions like the makers of this board, which either suggests you know, hey, here's like the game design, like let's put a nod to them, or it's like an in-universe like, well, somebody had to install this in her castle, and the contractor that did so, and like the the people that sold her on the whole idea of like, here's a board game to to put in at the top of your tower to like defeat your foes, and if all else fails, and you need to make a quick getaway, here's the button to launch the credits. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, I really like that. Like, ever, I don't know. The whole, the whole set of that imagery, really entertains me. Anyway, we did it. We beat Banjo-Kazooie. Without ragging on Banjo-Tooie too much, which, hooray, that's... Uh, I, I feel pretty okay about the 
that amount of things that were said at times. So anyway, um, we still have the rest of this castle to play out, and we have a few more little things that they're going to show us at the very end, which really unfortunately uh, did not work out technically in the end. Um, at the same time, the whole idea of the stop and swap system sounded pretty horrible, <laughs> like in practice. Um, Though the remnants of the idea of stop and swap is now used in like this fantastic speedrun of I believe it's yeah it's uh it's Paper Mario, um, and it requires I think Ocarina of Time, and it's like you start in Paper Mario and then like at a certain point you stop and go over to Ocarina of Time and set up memory in a weird way. And then you do a stop and swap back over to Paper Mario, where you, like, pull... It's basically like you pull the cartridge out and, like, swap it out super fast. And, it's like, it's it's one of those... Just the concept of the technology is just, like, really awkward. But it's, you switch cartridges super fast and then continue on with Paper Mario. And memory's all hecked up because, for whatever reason, like, Ocarina of Time and Paper Mario don't, like, refresh or, like, clear out the memory... Or like the, the RAM on the console. And it's, it is, it's just like one of those stupid technical things that works through sheer dumb luck and near sorcery that it ever worked in the first place. And like these two things just, it, yeah, it is bonkers. It's all just wild and bonkers and I love I don't know. This is this is the thing that I love about speedrunning and like we're learning all these weird game shenanigans. They're just they're just wild and like nobody could have predicted that these things would work like this. And it's dumb. And hey, in case you missed Melon Girl the first time, here she is again for like another ten seconds. And finally, we get into the, like, after credits, uh, super secret stuff that I think this is what you get for, like, getting all of the jiggies and not just, like, the 98%. Um, so, hey, good job, you, you found everything. Here's stuff to look forward to in Banjo-Tooie. I do wonder if they had, if they had already gotten sign-off on creating this stuff. So yeah, there you go. Uh, jeez. <laughs> oh, anyway, Banjo Tooie sure is a game that's um, got a lot of problems. <laughs> like, if you love it, that's fine. I wouldn't recommend playing it again and re-reviewing that, you know, opinion. Um, because, jeez, like. There's so much in Banjo Tooie, and like it's it's again it's just like it's full of it's full of ideas, and I just don't think they had the time or space to execute things. Also, this whole thing here at the end. Hey, how did you rise up this rock? Like this is stuff that just who oh boy. Boy. Drove me nuts as a kid. Like, <laughs> very much just like, hey, wait, hold on. What the heck? How did this happen? What's what's here? What's going on? How can I do this? Is there is there a way to actually like do this with the game? went on for so long just getting up this dang spiral of a tower and 
then you have the weird eggs. This is the sort of thing, like, it is so hard to understand if you did not grow up in the time, like, this is a thing about, like, the specific age that I am, is, like, if you didn't grow up alongside the internet and, like, have that period of time in your life where the internet wasn't always there. And, like, you didn't have instant access to, like, all sorts of information. And you didn't have immediate, like, let me go look something up. Of just, like, wait, how do I get the ice key in Banjo-Kazooie? And, like, immediately find out on a GameFAQs forum or just, like, you know, some some fantastical written ASCII art title text headered <laughs> document. Just a .txt file, but with beautiful ASCII art title logos and everything and disclaimers and everything like blah 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 words love i love my old game faqs and that text those text files are gorgeous and fantastic and i appreciate everybody who has ever written one thank you so much for your work but like back back in my day as the style was at the time or whatever like you couldn't just go look this stuff up and find out immediately that no, this is all this is all just fooey and like ideas that they had for the next game that they didn't get to work out and you you can't immediately like find out the whole story of the stop and swap system that doesn't work <laughs> and unfortunately like technologically was not a possibility. No. <laughs> and there we go. The end. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, I can say everything I want to about... About back in my day and, like, not having the internet and, like... I, you know, saying those things, you can imagine the concepts if that wasn't something that you ever experienced. But like, I don't know. I I just don't know. <laughs> That's like. It's, it's part of why I do this whole recording things on VHS. It's just like, it gives me this specific, like, literal nostalgia filter with which to discuss things. And like, hurry, fall damage. Zungin, he's too fast for me. It is nice that they actually, like, add that, that whole, like, here's the rock element, so you know that Grintilda is actually defeated. Where is Tootie? <laughs> also... Well, hey, you found my secret moving picture game. Complete this puzzle and you can win a mystery prize! <laughs> oh, right. This became, like, how you entered worlds in <laughs> in Banjo-Tooie. Like, this whole thing... Oh, jeez. Rotations. Okay. Thank you. 
I forgot that that's what was on this. Um, and apparently, like, this is a problem in the uh, 360 version. Where in certain... Certain ones of these... Hey, you did it! Um, <clears throat> uh, use the tiles on the floor of the Tang Castle in Treasure Trove Cove to spill the word Bottles Bonus 1. You can also try level 2 in my game if you like. I forgot what that was. <laughs> like, I remember that it was a thing. I completely forgot what it was. Um, so that uh, that minigame has a problem on like, the 360 version and Rare Replay and everything because um, on certain ones of those puzzles, they, um, like, they'll be showing you the different worlds and whatnot and in some of those video things, uh, Banjo picks up some musical notes. And as we've discussed several times throughout this playthrough, um, in those versions of the game, the music notes, uh, the collection status persists <laughs> um, whether or not you die. So if you do end up dying, like, basically, if you do end up seeing that video without getting those notes yourself, those notes are now marked as collected, um, but, like, not actually. So it's like, you can't collect the notes because they're no longer there, but they have been marked, but, like, they're just not, the, there we go, I said the thing right the first time. You, <laughs> these notes have been marked collected so they are no longer there but they haven't been marked as you got them so you can't pick them up and they don't count towards your score so you're just screwed apparently um and your save file is barked this game is so good <laughs> I forgot about, like, all of the puzzles and things. Um, I'm not gonna do, like, all of those on camera. In fact, I'm trying to find a point at which to stop rambling and wrap up. Um, but let's see what Bottles has in store for us. Anyway, ultimately, this game is just wildly delightful, and if you've never played it, for whatever reason, cannot recommend enough. Like, find a way to play it. Uh, Rare Replay is a good option. Like, the main thing is just, like, don't do the Bottles minigame secret things and then uh, watch, watch some notes get collected and then never be able to get them yourself. change back just type no bonus big head mode <laughs> only banjo gets a big head <laughs> uh, the little squash and stretch on banjo's head this is like a constant, is so much more pronounced, like it's getting scaled up and everything. Like, ugh. Just 
everything about this is ridiculous. All right. <laughs> really? Uh, I completely forgot about all of this. That is fantastic. That is just delightful. Again, like everything about this game is delightful. Um, anyway, so let's let's actually get around to trying to wrap up for real. Um, Petra's giant head is really making this difficult, though. I mean, look at it. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway, um, let's get this series wrapped up. Uh, I think I actually know what I'm playing next. Uh, we'll see if it works and see how everything goes with that. So I'm not going to say what it is um, because it does require some extra some extra work on my end to maybe hopefully get it to work and hopefully it will work. And if not, then uh, I don't know. We'll play something else because that's what happens. Um, say if you've liked this, I have, you know, it's YouTube. It's a channel. Do the YouTube things that I hate them. Um, I hate saying them because they they make me feel like a shill, but, you know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever the dumb buttons are. Um, or don't, because heck the algorithm, and my subscription is, like, only a thing if you want this to actually show up in your subscription tab, which, hey, did you know there's a subscription tab? It's how you make YouTube not horrible. Or at least less horrible. Anyway. <laughs> Well, hey, I'm... I was a... This, this stupid head is making me just giggle a lot. Anyway, so, yeah. YouTube things. Hey, there's a channel. Hey, there's a playlist. If you've somehow come in on this episode and you want to watch the whole thing, there's also several other playlists. You can also watch my old stuff where the audio is real bad. Um, hey, I just started re-watching my own, like, Wild Arms 3 thing because that game was real good and also, like, was a year of my channel because stuff... But I learned a lot during it, and it's good. I like it. The audio is real rough at the start, though, and I'm sorry about that, but I eventually figure it out. Anyway, um, well, hey, there's there's also, yeah, stuff. I don't know. Go go watch the channel intro video, I guess, if you really want to, th want to hear me talk about things about myself. We're done. We're done. I'm done. I'm done. This was Banjo Kazooie. Recorded it all on VHS because that's what I do, because it gives me a literal nostalgia filter over everything. Way, way, way. And also, the stupid giant head is just ridiculous, and I love it. Everything about this game. Just. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot take anything seriously. Oh. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It... Anyway. We've reached the point of, hey, shut up, Bryce. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Let's call it a night. <sighs> ah, all right. There's enough chilling and rambling and everything. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. I cannot take Banjo seriously. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna laugh. Uh, thank you, and have yourself a lovely evening.